Hey everyone, welcome to another in my Christmas series. And this one we'll be playing with some distressed crayons. So I had some fun making a bunch of snowflakes out of some, you know, shiny paper, regular paper, specialty paper. And I, I noticed that I was kind of short on some colors that I wanted to try and do some non-traditional um, Christmas cards. So I just got this yesterday, this 3D snowflake um, impresslet. And I thought that we would experiment here with some distress crayons today. And I've got a water marker and I've got a wink of Stella pen. And let's go ahead and move all these pre-done ones out of the way and get started. So I'm going to use some, um, I've got some mirror uh, holographic mirror cardstock, some sparkly holographic cardstock, and a place a plain white 110 pound. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of these snowflakes so we can get them ready to go. And they're not they're not bad. This one cracked a little bit. I forgot to wet one side. Um, I don't necessarily like to use the crayons on them when they're cracked, but I'll I'll play with it. And then we've got the plain white. And we'll do a couple of the plain white ones. Sometimes when they're wet too, they don't want to come out. <laughs> kind of got to fiddle with them a little bit, but <clears throat> all in all, not bad. I do love these impresslets. And we'll go ahead and do a couple of the holographic sparkly ones too. And this time I wet both sides. So it's not going to give me any issues with cracks. Some paper, it doesn't give you any issues. Others, it does not. I guess it was the sparkly that gave me cracks. I can't tell which one that is. Yep, that, that one's sparkly. So I've got all my snowflakes cut out here. And we're going to start with one of the plain white ones. And I've got this Distress Crayon. This is, uh, let's Winterberry. And it's kind of got a pearly finish to it. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically rub color on here. Real simple. I've got my color on. I'm going to cap my pen and I'm going to take my water brush, make sure I've got water to work with, and just spread that color around. And that kind of helps to get it into the little nooks and crannies. And then I just take my finger and kind of rub in some more to make sure that it's getting in all those crevices and getting spread out smoothly. Pretty quick and easy to do. I mean, there's a million ways you could color these snowflakes, but you know, I'm trying to make use of the things that I have and that I've bought. And there's just not a lot out there on crayons, so I thought we'd go with the crayons today. And I think they work really wonderfully for 3D type um, coloring objects particularly these impresslets and your 3D folders and stuff like that. So all we're doing is just kind of spreading that, you know, getting any globberies out, making sure I got water on there because if it's got it thick in one area, you just wet it down and then spread it out. And you can see it's kind of got a pearl sheen to it. And this is part one of two, by the way. I'm going to do the snowflakes in this one, and in the second one, we'll make a card from the snowflakes we made. I didn't want to make a super long video. So there's my pink snowflake. I'm just going to kind of rub that in a little bit, and then I'll set it aside to dry. There's kind of kind of a close-up what it looks like. It's a kind of dark in here. It's a gloomy day today, so my light isn't the best. So this one, I'm going to go in with a regular salvage patina crayon because I want some kind of turquoisey tinted ones, and I'm just going to tint this one. So I'm just going to rub the crayon on. And for this one, I'm just going to rub it around because that's kind of a smooth paper. It's not super porous, so it blends in easily without water. So depending on your paper is whether or not you're going to be, need water. I'm just going to dab that a bit. And now you see we've just slightly tinted that, but we still have our sparkle. There's the two side by side. 
clean up my mess here a little bit. And let's grab this other sparkly one here. And let's go in, oh, let's actually grab a white one and let's go in with this Hocus Pocus crayon and see how the purple works out. I realize there aren't purple snowflakes, but you know, there could be in, in, your, in your own fantasy world. So I'm just gonna spread that crayon on and then just spread this around. And it's giving it a really nice, pretty purple sheen. And just add more color where needed, add water where needed. So again, the water helps kind of thin that out and I'm just getting my finger wet to do it. Now I'm not getting it soaked, just lightly tapping it in the water just so I can uh, move that color around because these crayons are water reactive, so they move around with color, with water. In fact, they lift also. But we're not gonna do any lifting today, we're just gonna do some coloring. And now that, see, it's got a nice satiny sheen to it, but I think I'm gonna kick it up a notch and I'm going to go in with my Wink of Stella and sparkle that baby up. So you could, um, honestly, you could pre-spray the paper with the mica sprays, let it dry, and cut them out. But, you know, let's use the crayons. And that Wink of Stella is going to help spread that color around because it's wet. And also add an extra oomph of sparkle to that purpley snowflake. You can use any one of your crayons to color stuff. These I'm just doing, you know, with these non-traditional Christmas tones. And spread that Wink of Stella around with it a little. And there you can see, kind of, you can see the sparkle. Uh, like I said, the light in here isn't wonderful right now. There's no sun. It's funky outside. I'm going to try and get my flashlight on my phone and see if I can shine it on there so you can see that shine. Where's my flashlight? There it is. Okay. So it's got a metallic look to it. There you can kind of see the metallic shine on there. In real life, they're pretty awesome. So let's go in with, I'm gonna go in with, uh, let me clean off my mess here. I'm gonna go in with some speckled egg. And this one is real subtle. So speckled egg is, is a very light color in the crayon. Um, I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to kind of spread this color around. It does take a bit more for a larger snowflake, obviously, but this is just going to give it barely a tint. And just spread it in. And on these sparkly ones, you want to spread it in really well so that the you, the, so the the sparkle comes back through somewhat. It will dull that dull it down a tad. See, I'm just kind of wiping and spreading it in. And it has kind of changed the hue here. I'm just going to get a little bit of water onto my finger and rub it around, thinning it out even more and bringing some of that sparkle back. And you'll see that it's got, it's barely tinted, but it is definitely tinted. So you can use light color, you can use a dark color, you can use plain paper, you can use textured paper. We use what you have. Let's go ahead and close up that crayon. And let me grab again the salvage patina. Nah, let's not. Let's do the um, winterberry on a sparkly one. So we had done the winterberry on a plain, plain white one. Now we're going to tint this sparkly 
snowflake with the winter berry. I'm just going to kind of rub it in with my finger. Get a little bit of water from my water pen. You can see it's barely any. And just kind of spread it out. Just to give that a little bit of a pink hue. bit more water. Got some globbery spots there. It's moving around on me because it's wet. And so there we've got some little bit of kind of pink undertones to the sparkly one. I think I did that one already. Let's go ahead and let's do a metallic one. So I'm going to grab the brush pewter crayon. And I realize we have metallic ones, but this is going to be more of an industrial metallic one. So I'm just going to spread on that brush pewter. I'm kind of, I'm a little heavy handed with it because I have to spread it around to a larger area. I'm going to get a little bit of water, on my finger and start moving around that brush pewter. And again, there are a lot more spaces to fill on the larger snowflakes. And I wanna make sure I get them all filled in. Cause who doesn't want an industrial snowflake? <laughs> well, you know, there's everybody's got their own what they want. So already it kind of looks metal. We'll get that nice and spread in there and then we're gonna kick it up a notch. And just get a little water in some of the areas that are too thick and so that I can get it down into those little crevices. Get it all pushed out. There we go. Looking, looking industrial already. You can see how easy it is to actually work with these crayons on a surface like this. So now I've got my industrial kind of colors and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe up my mess here. And I'm going to grab, I make sure it's nice and dry. I'm gonna grab my salvage patina crayon. And I'm just gonna make a mark here and there. Kind of just random. You could do that on a copper one too, it would look cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some water directly on there and then just kind of spread this out a little bit. I don't want it all over, I just want it here and there. And I'm okay with it being thick and gooby in some places because that's the whole point of this one. Let's get a little bit of more of this where I'd wipe some off, the brush pewter. And there you've got your grungy, grungy little snowflake. Pretty neat, huh? Let me go ahead and wipe up my mess. And let's play with a totally different color here. Um, I'm just cleaning up with a little bit of uh, hand sanitizer because I'm gonna go in with a totally different tones, so I don't want them mixing at all. And yes, I keep my crayons in my Star Trek lunchbox. And let's look for the, let's see, which one is that? No, that is not the one I want. I want flickering candle. There it is. Okay. Let's see what happens if we go in with flickering candle. So, haven't used this one yet. 
I'm just gonna fill in all around not you know not perfectly coloring just laying down some crayon I do want it kind of thick because I want good coverage on this one I'm gonna make sure that my fingers are completely clean of the last color I used and I'm gonna grab a little bit of water get my finger wet and I use my middle finger for this no no rhyme or reason for which finger I use it's just the one I use and this stuff whoa this flickering candle is something else man that is some that is some Midas touch gold going on right there spreads in very nicely and it dries pretty quick y'all once you've got it spread out it is water reactive though, so if you get it wet, it will do things. Look at that. Flickering candle. What do you know? Let me just set that aside. And I've got a lot of crayon right there that I really don't want to waste. So I'm just going to wet that down and move it around a little bit. Pat at it. I'm going to take a piece of watercolor paper on the smooth side and just smoosh it. Pick up all that wonderful mica because that can be the beginning of a background for the flickering candle snowflake. I don't know how that might look, but I have some ideas, maybe with some blacks. So here are some of the snowflakes that we colored. Thanks for watching. Um, there, I will be uploading part one and two. They'll both be ready at the same time. So we can make a card with some of the snowflakes that we have colored. We've got our purple. We've got our tinted kind of sparkly one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you on part two.